Hi, this is Resilient Ken Lau. Now, uh, I used to use a notepad or to-do list, right? So I list out everything I have, and then now uh, whenever I think about that, I just write it down, and then and then all of a sudden I find that it's like, oh, today I have so many to do, right? And then I got a headache, and then uh, I go to social media, check it out, just to relax my mind. But this no longer happen, right? Because I have learned the skill that some of the top entrepreneur are using, right, to manage their time very, very effectively. And uh, and one of the powerful tools that many not realize is that, including myself, right, before that, is that the Google Calendar, right? The Google Calendars has a uh, three view, right, as a month view. As a day view, there's a week view, and this one. So now let's just press one in your chat box, right? And uh, you can actually go to that particular day uh, to look at that. Now, if I want to go to the today's day, right? I press on this view, I press the T, and I come to this day, right? Now you can see that the uh, uh, it's very blank, right? Nothing is there, right? And the red line says that it is now at 655, as you can see here. Now, uh, what I've just done is that uh, I actually already created, uh, if you look a look here, right? I already created a video somewhere here and so on, right? So now, now I have uh, some data here, right? uh, some job that I need to do, right? And I, instead of putting it in the to-do list, right? I need to fill up this and not only that I must also have a buffer time right that is very important for relaxing the mind right especially the future work so now let's just say that uh, okay I have already have a, a job that is called uh, uh, fetching to fetching my son right so now instead of uh, 7.30 has to be there so this is about time to wake him up right and then uh, and then Consider also coming back, right? So, uh, fetching, uh, sent, uh, kids, right? Jeremy to school, right? Okay, so that's one. Then after that, uh, somewhere in the buffer time, right? So I think about uh, at least uh, a sample of something job like that, right? So <laughs> it took me about an half, one and a half, right, to prepare and send uh, training material to uh, training provider, right? So you can say this is sending to your boss, right? But always buffer time, right? Now buffer time is very, very important and the technique, now that is why they call it a box, right? See, it's a box, right? It's not continuously, right? And the next thing is that, well, you want to uh, schedule your time to eat, right? So so this is why, right? Let's say here to here, right? So you might want to have a uh, extra time for traveling and so on, right? Relax again. So one and a half hours, right? Let's just go for a uh, a break or a lunch break okay so then next uh, you might want to do something else here but I know that uh, there are job that is uh, I uh, I need to go and collect a laptop right and uh, and uh, the laptop and this once I list it down right I want to know that uh, can I just do this two in the ones right yes the answer is yes right so uh, let's just click on the somewhere here right and uh, this is to collect laptop right uh, and then click that and finally here I go for uh, uh, fetch uh, Jeremy from school right and uh, that's about it right so then finish at uh, 9 30 something right I also want to sleep already so get to prepare to sleep and uh, there's not much time left right so you have bath and so on right now that is time boxing now once you know time boxing you realize that your time is not it's just good right uh, you might want to do some social work here or you want to do some extra work but always remember a buffer time that is very very important yeah so I wish you success by applying time boxing today onwards see you in my next masterclass. Uh, God bless you. God bless Asia.